Welcome to Hoop It All Basic Techniques, a series of four lessons that lay a foundation for understanding how to get the most out of our Hoop It All hoops. If you are new to using Hoop It All hoops, you will find this series of lessons helpful to understanding some basic concepts. If you have already used the hoops, this will be a quick refresher for you. This first lesson explores the concept of measuring stitching field for the hoops. The most fundamental concept to understand is the stitching field of the hoops. To do that, we will see the variety of ways to measure the stitching fields of the hoops that came with your embroidery machine and of the hoop at all hoop. Yes, it is as simple as grabbing a ruler and the template of the hoop and measuring. In this illustration, the length of the stitching field is 13 centimeters or 130 millimeters. Since my embroidery machine is set to measurements in millimeters, I digitize and measure in millimeters also. But if it is easier for you to think and measure in inches, then measure in inches. Make note of the measurements of your hoops. I have a medium hoop and a large hoop that I regularly use. So I measured the stitching field for both of my hoops and noted the measurements for future reference. If you have digitizing software, you should be able to use the software to quickly measure your hoop stitching field. My software has a measurement tool, so I use the measurement tool to determine the length and width of the stitching field for my larger embroidery hoop. As you can see here, the ruler next to the cursor has the length measurement of 254.1 millimeters. Additionally, this measurement is displayed in the bottom portion of the software, again indicating that the length of the stitching field is 254.1 millimeters. Another way to measure the hoop while using digitizing software is to make a drawing of the stitching area. In this example, I selected the freeform tool and followed the stitching field indicators of the hoop, creating a fill for the entire length and width of the stitching field of the hoop. Those measurements appear in the lower part of my software screen. An alternate version of digitizing the stitching field is when I draw a rectangle within the hoop, but not as big as the entire hoop. This helps me to understand the length and width of the stitching field and how my potential design would fit within the stitching field without using all of the stitching area that's available. This is another example where I will not be using the entire length and width of the hoop for my design. Being able to do these measurements and visualize the stitching field will help with the design strategy for oversized or combined embroidery projects. You will see an example of using this stitching field in lesson three of this series of basic techniques. The instruction sheets that are with your hoop at all hoop provide the measurements of the stitching field for the hoop and for any overlap considerations when planning design placement. What is important for this lesson is that you know the measurements of the stitching field for the hoop at all hoop. In the next lesson, we will see how embroidery machine stitching fields fit within the hoop at all stitching field. In lesson three, you will learn more about the markings on the hoop at all template. If you are more comfortable working in inches, using a ruler to measure the templates may be more helpful to understanding the measurements. It is helpful to keep in mind that the stitching field is the area within the hoop the embroidery machine recognizes as stitchable. In other words, our computerized machines are set up to not stitch up to the hoop edge, thus preventing us from stitching into the embroidery hoop. The next lesson in this series will build on our understanding of stitching fields and illustrate different ways our embroidery machine hoops fit into the hoop at all hoops. To conclude this lesson, I urge you to measure the stitching fields of your hoops and document their sizes for reference. With their measurements in mind, you will be able to plan your hoop at all embroidery projects with confidence. Please note that these dimensions are shown for illustration purposes only. Each embroidery machine is different and therefore you need to measure your own hoops to get the correct stitching area for your machine and your machine hoops. The next lesson in this series of basic techniques is lesson two, understanding how the stitching field of your embroidery machine hoop fits into the stitching area of the hoop at all hoops. 
Lesson 3 builds on this concept by explaining the center overlap area of the double wide hoops. The fourth lesson illustrates steps to planning your oversized embroidery project without using digitizing software. The second series of lessons, Basic Techniques for Digitizing for the Hoop It All Hoops, begins instruction on using software to design and plan your embroidery project. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I have been a home sewist for over 40 years. In 2003, I established my machine embroidery business, American Stitchworks, and I enjoy teaching sewing, machine embroidery, and computer digitizing techniques. I have enjoyed using the Hoop It All Hoops to create a variety of projects, and I hope you have similar successes.